Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with Tovia. I am Chef Tovia and I bring you detailed step-by-step -step tutorials to help you all become better cooks and bakes at home. Please subscribe for new videos every Monday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to follow me on social media and Facebook at Cooking with Tovia and on Instagram at Tovia Gartenberg. And hey, right after this intro, it's a recipe card where you'll get the recipe for today's demo. Please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified of my new uploads and live events. So let's begin with today's demo. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare my cheesecake tin. Um, this is how you would cut your parchment rounds for any pan. I'm using wax paper. You can use wax paper when baking certain things like cakes as long as the entire surface is covered and there's no exposure to the heat from the oven whatsoever it won't set on fire so um, I made my wax paper longer than my cheese um, cake pan and what I'm going to do is fold it in half <clears throat> and then after folding it in half I'm going to fold that half and fold it in half again. Then I'm going to turn it where the folded edge is to my right. So this is the open side, folded edge is to my right side. And I'm going to make sort of like a cone shape almost. So I'm going to start and I'm going to fold it like this. It's not going to be perfectly lined up with this edge from the opposite side. But we want to make this point very precise. So we folded it sort of at an angle. So got that perfectly straight. And then we're going to fold that in half one more time. But this time I'm going to line all the sides up and make sure that point is precise. So we have this cone shape now. So back to the pan here. I'm going to just eyeball the middle of my pan. Okay. So this is about the middle of my pan. And I'm just going to go here and cut off this extra edge. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get as perfect as you can. And once you unfold it, we'll have a perfect parchment round. Now, if you need it to be shorter, then you can just fold it back up and trim it a little bit. But because we're using it for a cheesecake pan, it's okay that's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna just black side facing that way. And then just place my cheesecake ring back over. ring over it. Try to press as much of the edge down of the wax paper. As much of it down as you can. So, so at least most of it can get clamped inside. If all of it does it, that's okay. But we got most of it clamped in there. So. So I have these cookies that are equivalent to like Oreos. So I'm going to separate them, put it into the food processor, and I'm going to scrape the cream off. And I'm going to just set it on the side. Then I'm going to pulse everything together in my food processor. So 
So what I'm gonna do is pour my chocolate cookie crumbs into the bowl. And I'm gonna pour some melted butter to my chocolate cookie crumbs here. I'm just gonna mix it so everything is coated with the butter. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm just gonna pour my wet crumbs in the middle of my crust. Because remember we have the wax paper. We don't want it to go on the outside of the wax paper. So we're gonna press it from the center of the pan towards the outside. And I'm gonna turn the pan as I do this. And it's really important to pack all that together. So now this is gonna go in the preheated 350 degree oven for exactly eight minutes. Here is the cheesecake crust. I'm gonna um, use it for my cheesecake. So if you're gonna use it, make any type of cheesecake crust, whether if it's graham cracker or shortbread cookie, you would just follow the same exact method. Just make sure the cookies are dry with no cream on it and it will come out with perfect cheesecake crust every time. Shout out to Melanie Jane. Thank you so much for my table for my birthday. It, oh man, that's wonderful. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Tosh who gave me my first super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much for making my birthday very wonderful and thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. That means you guys are gonna get even better recipes. Um, please share this video. Please give me a thumbs up and stay on the lookout for my Geek Chef 2.6 Mixer Giveaway. Live it be well, my friends, and thank you so much for watching.